So by now, most of you know that I filed a motion to vacate on the Hoffman uh, case. And uh, it was filed after I got a death threat and I told everybody that my communications were screwed up. So I knew it had to be uh, black hatters and pretty interesting that it happened just two hours before the hearing. Uh, I suspected it was uh, Jim uh, Stockerson. Oh, I'm sorry, Stewartson, who goes by Jim Stewartson, anti-fascist QAnon is a psyop. Sounds a lot like Mr. Hoffman. Uh, we've talked about Arturo Tafoya, otherwise known as Lester or Lestat or Arturo Tafioski. And, uh, you know, something just happened that uh, confirmed um, everything that I've been telling you guys. Back in the 60s, there was a TV show called Hogan's Heroes, starring Bob Crane. Now, Bob met his death in a pretty kinky way. You know, he was kind of a pervert. But I liked his daughter, Karen. She was friends with me, you know, back in the day. We were all in the San Fernando Valley together. And at any rate, um, some of the characters were pretty funny. You know, Colonel Clink, Hogan! <laughs> Schultz, right? I know nothing. And um, this is the Kabisihias Weinhund moment uh, that we've been waiting for. So, without further ado, I give you Arturo Tafioski. Troll, I'm not the one making sock accounts, harassing or making threats to Thomas and friends. Jim Starkerson, <laughs> now you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and our little German friend here, um, we'll talk about uh, him later. So, at any rate, they're having wars, right? Agency wars. <laughs>